What's going on, my people? God bless you and greetings to you. I feel inspired to share this uh, quick exhortation with you concerning vision. The Bible says that without vision, we perish. That where there's no vision, the people perish. And I just want to I just want to remind us about the power of vision. We have to be able to see in our mind's eye. We have to have the vision of God in our heart. We have to be able to see it without actually seeing it. Whatever it is that God is doing in your life, whatever it is that you feel inspired of God to do concerning your assignment, concerning your purpose, the reason why you were created and made, the reason why God saved you, the passion that God placed in you, the dreams that you have, the work that you've set out to do in the kingdom. You have to be able to see that. And the enemy's objective is to get you distracted with your present circumstances to try to break that vision, to try to destroy that vision. Remember the example of Samson. Samson was called to be a mighty man of God to utterly smite his enemies, and he did that. And look what happened. Remember when the enemy finally got a hold of him like he wanted to. The first thing that the enemy did is take his vision. They put Samson's eyes out and they took his vision from him. That's what the devil would love to do to each and every one of us. Take our vision. Without vision, the people perish. So the devil will steal, kill, and destroy anything in your life, in your path that gets you distracted. One of the things that he tries to do is he tries to get you to focus on your circumstance because your circumstance and your situation is not always going to line up with what the vision is in your heart, with what the vision is in your being, whatever God has placed in you. So you have to have that alive. If that vision in you is dead, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? How are you going to be carried? When you can't see what's going on on the outside, it's that vision that drives you. It's that vision that enables you. It's that vision that empowers you. And lately here, I feel like during this time that I've consecrated to the Lord, that God has blessed my vision. And what I've been feeling lately is really God pouring into me, raising up vision. So to where I can see with my mind's eye, what my physical eye cannot see. And this is faith. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now the devil will try to steal your vision. He'll try to fight you to take away what you have on the inside, what you can see on the inside, what you can perceive with the mind's eye. And there are going to be times that you have to fight to see. You're going to have to fight to hold on to the vision because the devil wants to rob you. He wants to steal your vision. He wants to take away what you're able to see spiritually. He wants to take your faith away. Your ability to see spiritually by faith what you naturally cannot see. If you're pursuing ministry and God told you that you're going to be used in the kingdom in a mighty way, that God's going to use you to win souls, God's going to use you to heal the sick. And when you're walking in the natural and you don't see that, your vision will carry you through the discouragement. Your vision will be, your vision will almost protect you from the fiery darts that the enemy would send your way. Because you are engulfed with a desire and with a passion. And you have a love that drives you on the inside. If you've lost your vision, if your vision has become blurry, I pray that you would fight to hold on. Come against everything that threatens you, that threatens your vision. And carnal mindedness is a huge threat to vision. Because Flesh is weak, and when flesh can't see, flesh crumbles. But the Spirit is strong through Jesus Christ. Pray and ask God to sustain your vision and to preserve your vision and to help you to maintain sight of the things that are not yet seen. For the things that we see are temporary. 
But the things that are unseen, they are eternal. Let God do that eternal thing in you. Let your vision be drawn from the resources of eternity. Let that be your source. And then your vision will never run out. So, fight for your vision if you have to. But rejoice when it's there. And feed your vision. Fuel your vision. Do things that make it grow. Do things that make it grow in intensity. That causes it to expand in your life to the point to where you are consumed with your purpose. You're consumed with what God has given you to do. That is going to help you through the rough times. That's going to help you through the night times. That's going to help you through the dark days. That's going to help you persevere through the attacks of the enemy. And trust me, when you have vision, when you have purpose, when you have dreams, the attacks are coming. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God bless you all. I pray that God would download into your spirit renewed vision, renewed passion, renewed dreams so that you can see with your mind's eye so that it can be a thing perceived and imagined in your heart. God bless you. In Jesus' name.